Okay, so we are continuing our discussion of welds. So uh, the basic way to compute what happens to welds is to look at the weld surface, the surface that is act on which the weld actually sits, and we compute the six kinds of loads on the weld. There are three direct loads, which means direct forces. There is up and down shear, there is sideways shear, and there is axial push or pull. Similarly, there are three moments on this weld. One is the up and down bending moment, the sideways bending moment, and the twist. If you want to compute the bending moment, you can do that by doing R cross F. So the moment vector you can compute, if you have a calculator and your calculator can do it, it goes from R cross F, R goes from, from center of, uh, from centroid, to point of force. If you want to do it, you can do it that way and then compute the x, y and z components or you can do it the way I, I said it in last class. You combine all of these effects into three stress components. Sigma zz is push pull plus up down but stress due to up down moment and stress due to sideways moment. Sigma zx is sideways shear plus component of shear stress due to torque. Sigma ZY is up down shear plus component of shear due to torque. If you combine all of this, then you have to find the equivalent shear stress. This is what we have been asked to do. And the equivalent shear stress is just the magnitude of these three components. This is the magnitude of this vector, square root of sigma ZX squared plus sigma ZY squared plus sigma ZZ squared. And this should be compared to the shear yield strength of the weld material. If you take a look at typical weld materials, I'll show you what the shear yield strength looks like. Yeah, there you go. So, yield strength is 50 kpsi. So, shear yield strength will be 50 divided by 2. That's how we compute the shear yield strength, which is 25 kpsi. This is what I use for comparison. This is what decides, this table is what decides whether the weld will fail. For the base material, you have to go up here and you can say, okay, this is what you are going to use. The permissible stress should be less than 0.3 times the sigma ultimate tensile strength. And it cannot be more than 0.4 times the Yield strength. So somewhere between that. So what I'm saying is there are three conditions. So let me write it, write it this way. So let me go all the way down. Our failure criteria is the following. Safety is determined by equivalent shear stress. must be less than or equal to shear yield stress divided by 2 for weld or 0 0.3 SUT for base or 0 0.4 SY for base. So you have to check the smallest of these three values, it should be less than all three of them. Sorry, I should not say or, I should have said and, and, not or. So this, it has to be this and this and this, it has the equal and shear stress has to be less than these three values. That's how we figure out whether the weld is going to be safe or not. For static loading, for fatigue loading, you have to do the same fatigue type of things. We are not going to worry about that right now. But I just want you to understand how to compute the stresses in the weld. That is the most important thing. After that, it's all empirical stuff. But to compute the stresses, you have to compute the three direct forces and the three bending moments. So I, I want you to, I mean, I'm, I'm, I keep telling you this because this I want you to drill it, drill it into your head. Okay. Sideways shear, up down shear, 
push pull sideways bending up down bending twisting okay that's how it works bye